Alright, hello everyone, I'm making this quick video to talk about our dear darling Triss Merigold. And specifically, the question of whether or not she should have red hair in adaptations of the books. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So, whenever people start talking about The Witcher show on Netflix, even if the topic has nothing to do with Triss, or hair colors, or The Witcher video games, one way or another, people always bring it up. Someone will always say, Netflix ruined my Triss, where's the red hair? And others will say, lol, this is not based on the games, go read the books, Triss doesn't have red hair in the books, she's got brown hair, and so on and so forth. And now I'm making this video to address the issue and hopefully resolve it, if that's at all possible. I will of course base my arguments on the books and specifically the English translations. I know I have some Polish audience as well, so I'll count on them to correct me if there are any grave errors made in these English versions. Also, before I begin, some people have been saying that the author of the books confirmed that Triss is supposed to have red hair in some interview or, or something. Now, true or false, for the time being I'm going to ignore this, and here's why. I want to focus on what's actually written in the books, and not argue from Sapkowski's authority. And that is because I personally don't like it when others do it. You know, I would often say that something on Netflix looks wrong, or feels wrong, and others would counter that by saying that the author was involved in the creative process, to some extent at least, and therefore everything we see or hear is something that he personally approves of. So I want to avoid making a similar argument here. Alright, enough lollygagging as I often say, and let's get to the actual point of this video. So, to cut a long story short, it's actually not 100% clear what her hair color is supposed to be. The first time Siri sees her hair, the words used to describe it are fresh chestnuts. Her hair has the color of fresh chestnuts. This particular translation also adds that it has a sheen of gold, which I assume means that it has a golden shine to it. People with better English can perhaps correct me if that's not true. From that description alone, if I were to say what color her hair is, I would say something between brown and red. Now, later on, there are a couple of references to her hair once again, but this time the only description is the word chestnut. And this is most likely what the people who say that Triss should have brown hair are basing their statements on. And I must admit, it's a fair assumption. If I were to judge the color solely from these passages, I'd say it's brown as well. In Bulgarian, for example, we use the exact same term to describe brown hair. But moving on, we have this, her hair looking like fire in candlelight, which I think once again suggests that there is something reddish about it, and I would once again imagine something similar to the fresh chestnut description in the beginning. And finally, towards the very end of the series, we have Yennefer herself referring to Triss's hair in some translations as actually red, and in others as ginger which I suppose is mostly red as well. And there we have it, um, we've got some pieces of evidence for both brown as well as reddish brown, and one for flat out red. So based on all of that, I would say that neither CD Projekt Red nor Netflix has committed a grave sin by the way they portrayed her hair in their works. The Netflix adaptation seems a little too dark, and the one in the games perhaps has the red a little too saturated. But overall, I think that criticizing either of them too much for their hair color choices is unreasonable. Okay, and shall we talk about her eyes as well? People have also said that CD Projekt Red got them wrong because she has blue eyes in the books. Of course, this is not in a response to how she looks on Netflix, because she doesn't have blue eyes there either, but ultimately it's true. However, let me point to why the games only got the eye color half wrong, let's say. She does indeed have green eyes in The Witcher 3, but if you read the codex entry in the game, you'll see that in it, it says her eyes are blue. So what the hell is going on? I guess the guys who wrote this knew what they were doing, but forgot to pass it on to those who modeled Triss? Who knows? Okay, so finally, who wins in their depiction of Triss Merigold's appearance? Well, I would say it's the games. And not because of her hair color or eye color, but the overall appearance. When compared to Yennefer, she's supposed to be the more girly one, more teenager-like, I suppose, however you want to call it. And in the show, she actually looks older than Yennefer. 
And that's the main reason why I think CD Projekt Red did a better job in that department. Now, of course, I realized that video game characters, although often based on real people, can be fine-tuned to a much greater extent than real people, but still, if I had to choose one over the other, I'd definitely pick the game Triss. So finally, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say down in the comments about all the things I've talked about, especially from my Polish viewers. And if you did enjoy this video, feel free to give it a like. Alright, with that said, I want to thank everyone for watching, special thanks to my supporters on Patreon and YouTube members, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good. Listen. They're Shut your gob, Ginger Hall!